Can a new movie musical from the director of Perks of Being a Wallflower recapture Broadway magic? This week we check out Dear Evan Hansen. My mom was Buddhist last year, so we couldn't have any animal products. She was um, Buddhist last year, but not this year? Yep. That's sort of what she does. She gets into a lot of different things. Mm. For a while it was Pilates, The Secret, Buddhism, etc. It's cool that she's interested in so much different stuff. Yeah, she's not though. That's just what happens when you're rich and you don't have a job. Dear Evan Hansen puts Ben Platt, the star of the original stage musical, back in the shoes of its titular character. It also adds some Hollywood credibility with Julianne Moore, Amy Adams, and Caitlin Deaver. The story remains the same. A lonely, anxious high schooler makes up a friendship between a classmate who committed suicide and himself to win the approval of others. From there, the lie grows and he is wracked with guilt and songs. For all of the creepy, monstrous tactics that Evan Hansen uses, it was moderately forgivable in the stage musical because of its catchy songs and sparse, inventive stage setup. Not to mention a jittery, energetic performance by Platt. On screen, it loses all of its energy, humor, and frenetic pacing. The movie looks bland and flat. It's overly dramatic, and at 27 years old, Platt looks like an adult going undercover in a high school. I can't even get into the weird look at mental health this movie has, or Evan Hansen's almost complete lack of consequences for his actions, and all of that adds up to the uncomfortable nature of the story, which will likely leave audiences wondering why this was such a huge hit in the first place. And who can blame them? I give Dear Evan Hansen one and a half stars out of five. Dear Evan Hansen is rated PG-13 for language. It is playing exclusively in movie theaters. To see all that's going on in St. Joseph, check out St. Joe Live every Thursday in the St. Joseph News Press or anytime at newspressnow.com. And you can join me next week as we check out Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Until then, we'll be live at the movies. See you later.